All right, here is my new diet. Every morning, I cut two bunches of celery. I prefer them with the bunch on. Not only do, are they healthier, they look greener. The stuff in the bag, it's just, just not fresh. Stays fresher, plus I'm replanting these. I have about two dozen of these. They're already growing, sprouting. By the time summertime gets here, I'll have a whole field of celery. Two entire bunches of celery produces about what is that? These are 32 ounce containers. I can't read anything. We'll call that 28 ounces. I drink this every morning. Uh, and I wait a half an hour before consuming anything else. Now, I make my Ischiate, Sangre, and Argonine. This is my pre-workout. To start. I use the lemon juicer. It's easier than doing it by hand. It's one full lemon and a half of a lime. Salt. This is quarter teaspoon. I'm gonna do two of them. Next. Chlorophyll. Lastly, the sangre mix. Now, for some reason, this chlorophyll makes it extra green. The other one I had, it didn't do as much green. So, the reason why I call this the sangre mix is because it turns it turns everything a blood red. It should, but it doesn't because of the chlorophyll. So this sangre mix, the base is beet powder. Um, it's a pre-workout. This whole thing that I do is, the reason is, is for the blood and for the heart and the testosterone. It's mainly beet powder, saw palmetto, Cordyceps. Slight bit of maca, turmeric, Ceylon cinnamon, ground ginger, cayenne pepper. Two things I'm going to be adding. You know, I haven't figured out if I want to add this mushroom mix into the sangre or if I want to find a different way to supplement it. But this OM, it's 10 mushrooms, and for the price of it, it's phenomenal. So this is the way that I choose to get my medicinal mushrooms. Another thing I'd like to add in the future, the pine pollen mix. I'll do that once this batch is done. Um, okay, the next thing I add is the Argonite. I just have a random scooper, what am I adding? Half a teaspoon. 
it's more than a serving. But I, then again, you know, that's what that is. Next, chia seed. So the way I do it just by vision, the way to eat isquiate, I'll fill this with distilled or reverse osmosis water, deionized zero parts per million. Fill it up and let it sit. You have to keep stirring it as well so it doesn't cake up. But I let this sit for five to 10 minutes and the chia seeds absorb the water and they become uh, just this, this gelatinous ball of hydration. And that's how, it's, that's how it is consumed. If, if you consume this directly after pouring the water in, the way that I compare it to is like getting a mouthful of seawater and sand. Like, you know, if you were on the beach and you just face planted right in the ocean and got some sand and it's because the chia seeds are hard. I feel it's like chewing on sand. So let this sit for 10 minutes before consuming it. Uh, I grab an apple and I'm out the door and that's what I do before I go to the gym in the morning. Uh, literally just warming up and doing front squats. That's it. Uh, one or two exercises like some pull-ups or some overhead press, but that's it. It's just a, it's just a heavy single front squat and that's it. I'm an advocate of front squatting. Front squatting for, for, for a, a, just you know, digestive health, spine health, leg health, heart health, head health, front squat. Yeah. You know, I found, I found Zen in front squatting, doing front squats, Bulgarian style. That's a heavy single every day. While I'm waiting, so this is what I mean by having to stir it. As it begins to absorb the water, it cakes up and it gets sticky. So stir it. And as you can see, it's green, not red. But while I'm waiting for the chia seed to absorb, here's what I take in the morning. Vitamin D3. I take 20,000 IU vitamin D3. And I'm trying this one out, Inositol. Uh, it was this Instagram post right here. Uh, Dr. James D. Nicolatano. Um, who, I don't know, it was a $10 bottle of Inositol. I don't know if it does anything for me, but when I stop taking it, is the telltale sign if I need to start, continue to take it. But just this post about, uh, and it's a lengthy video. It's, uh, hmm. About an eight minute video describing inositol and how I was sold on inositol, but uh, yeah, I'm giving this one a try. Otherwise, I would just say vitamin D3 in the morning before I'm off to the gym. So here's the lunch, corn tortilla, Tomatoes, lettuce, corn. Um, let me see. These are the serrano peppers. I add jalapenos. There's beans, corn, uh, cooked onions, cooked peppers. I add the verde salsa and a whole bunch of cilantro. And so I just get two, and that's what I get for lunch. It's not organic but it's fresh at about two o'clock I have my second lunch so it's steamed broccoli and what I do is I put a little bit of hot sauce in a bowl add some black pepper some sea salt Squeeze a lime, not a full, not an entire half. This one was already used, but I'm gonna squeeze this one. Okay. 
Okay. We got some chopped cilantro right here. Drop this down there. Boom. Then I can take the broccoli. Then the broccoli goes in here. And I just mix it up. Stir it up. So it's cilantro, broccoli, lime, hot sauce, black pepper, and sea salt. Again, this is my lunch. It's about 2 o'clock right now. Boom. Mix this stuff up. I also get a kiwi, one of these little mini orange citrus fruits. And then I wash it down to somewhere around 16 ounces of raw milk. And this, this is not coffee, it's not tea. It's brewed cacao. Add a little bit of milk. Touch of honey to that. Brews the same way coffee does. I don't always do broccoli. Sometimes I do the orange or the purple cauliflower. I mix it up. Though if I had to guess, I, I think that the broccoli has more nutrients in it. Don't quote me on it though. So, while I'm drinking my chocolate, I go for some Brazil nuts. But I limit myself because it's high in selenium. Still, Brazil nuts are the nuts of choice. And that's my, that's my second lunch. I found, so the Mexican place is two minutes away from the gym, less than two minutes away. And I found that eating a light lunch and then eating another light lunch works better. All right, so while the broccoli is steaming, I get my dinner ready. I make some fresh guacamole. Uh, so I chop up, uh, I, I do one full avocado. I chop up some onions, some jalapeno, some tomatoes, some cilantro. I add some salt, some black pepper, a little bit of cayenne powder. I do a fresh squeezed lime. This, this also helps it not stay bad because I'm making this at about somewhere between 2 and 3 p.m. and I eat uh, about 10 o'clock p.m. so it's just easier to get home from the gym my dinner's already made before I leave for the gym at night I get home I just have to reheat and chop a few fresh herbs and so on this day I boiled up some of the some of, some of my dinner. I do it about once every three days. And the guacamole is so simple and it's it's fresh, it's easy.
This is my uh, sweet potato, Yukon potato, carrot, mash. I'm gonna fill this with water and boil it. It's basically one sweet potato, equal parts potato, pretend that's a potato, and e approximately equal parts carrot. And this is about three days worth. Once I add, uh, this is about three days worth of mash. Now I'm getting ready to work out tonight. Sometimes, if I get hungry, I'll add some extra fruit to my diet. But before I go to the gym, I do another serving of isquiate without the chia seeds though, just Lemon, lime, salt, chlorophyll, water. And I'm getting ready for my, my post-workout. My post-workout, as soon as I get in my car, I eat the banana. And then I drink this mixture right here. It is first spirulina. random amount then chlorella again a random amount i wash it down with this one not this one in particular this one's more expensive i like the trader joe's one it's basically the same thing it comes from the same country uh Antioxidant, pomegranate, cherry, uh, tart cherry, red grape, purple carrot, cranberry, and blueberry. Not from concentrate. Uh, it is pasteurized, it's not fresh, but here's the deal. And I dilute it. That's why I'm putting this in a jar. It's a little bit acidic, I can't lie. Um, so here's the deal. We're gonna talk about Driscoll's. Driscoll's berries. I'm not sure if every single one of them comes from hydroponics, but I'm, a majority of the berries that you'll find in stores, in the cartons, they are hydroponically grown. In my opinion, they're not natural. They don't have a full spectrum of... <clears throat> they don't have a full spectrum of nutrients. And if you noticed, they go bad quickly. The reason why they go bad quickly, the reason why the fungus grows is also because they don't have a full spectrum of nutrients. There's almost no point in purchasing those those berries in the store. You gotta go to a farm and pick them. But they have the best, some of the best antioxidant powers. So I just go with this and I use it to dilute. Whoever told you that you know you, you want electrolytes and you want you want some carbohydrates, and you, but you want a lot of antioxidants after especially an aerobic workout. Whoever told you that that protein powder builds muscle also happens to have like 100 acres of beachfront property and prime real estate. That's all this, you know, that's all. So this is all you need to work out. None of that, that, that stuff. And... 
effect, yeah. Antioxidants, uh, citric acid and salts for the, for the electrolytes, the citric acid for the Krebs cycle, ATP. Um, water, I, when, I, when I look at it, this isn't everything for today. This is the, my RODI water. I, I drink less than, I think, a half a gallon of water, actual water a day. I try and get my water, I get my water from milk, I get my water from juice, I get my water from fruits. The food that I eat is not dry food. It's, it's all, um, yeah, it's all vegetables. It's all fresh vegetables and fruits. And so, again, I have nothing against water. I love the taste of RODI water. Uh, kept in glass, not plastic. Um, but water that comes out of the faucet, it's dead, you know, um, uh, it's dead. Some people like to call the water that's in fruit, they call it structured water. I, I like to read Victor Schauberger and water that comes out of a faucet is just dead. Whether it's, you know, it loses its electric charge or whatever. I don't think they've fully quantified it in scientific terms yet, but water that comes out of a faucet, out of a bottle, especially out of a plastic bottle, is dead. Dead water. And so... It's my post-workout. I get in the car, I eat the banana, I drink the antioxidant. Uh, then when I get home, I eat my meal. So I get home from the gym, take a serving of tryptophan. Well, first, I put the, the potato mash in the toaster oven. Right. Take a serving of tryptophan, wash it down with some milk, give it a head start. The guac's ready to go. And I add some coconut oil to the potatoes. Make sure everything is mashed a little more fully but not completely i like to see the, the segmentation in the food right. and the best part good amount of salt black pepper Chopped scallions, fresh parsley, fresh, like fresh, and then a combination. This is the important part: the rosemary and the thyme. This stuff is dried. I took it off a, a plant that I grew this summer. It froze, it dried up. And the rosemary and the thyme and the coconut oil with the salt and the black pepper is exquisite. That's ready to eat. Just like I said, take the guac out the out the fridge. Grab a little bit of spinach, and you got yourself a dinner. Oh, struggling, and you got yourself dinner. I have nothing against chips. I just want to get some spinach in my diet. So once everything's cleaned up and uh, dinner's done, 
I'm gonna give myself some tea, get that ready. All right, I let it brew. Well, I, you know, during, this thing, this thing will brew for like 45 minutes. If you let it, it'll hold the heat. So I, you know, I take my shower, the tea will be nice and brewed and ready. And I go with any combination detox. I have detox from my local stuff. The, the, these are two of my favorite teas. This one more so, but they're, they're both good. Uh, and since it's nighttime, I'll go with a little bit of chamomile and lavender to relax. Maybe some orange or some peach to enhance the flavor. But, uh, yeah. It's, it's real simple. Just drop a combination of tea into the filter. Boom. Let it brew. And then the best part about this, it'll brew and the volatile oils, which are what we want to consume, they don't escape. So, like I said, this will be warm. This will be warm enough to burn your mouth for another 20, 30 minutes. This is my favorite. There's an ancient Chinese proverb that says, A man who does not cook ends up paying for sex. <laughs> <laughs> 